In today's society, there are a variety of options for a person to grow their savings or to be more specific, their money. A person's money can be invested in a variety of ways. These options are either hazardous or safe. And cryptocurrency is one among them. Basically, it is a form of payment that is used to exchange goods and services. And there are several types of cryptocurrencies present in the market. And one among them, which is recently bagging a lot of popularity and interest, is stablecoins. But this makes me question, what is stablecoin? And why people are interested in it? So hey everyone, and I welcome to this new video of Simply Learn on Stablecoin Explain. In this video, I'll take you through every answer to your questions on stablecoins. So without doing any further delay, let's get started. But before moving ahead, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and do hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. So moving on, let me give you an overview of all the topics you are going to cover across in this video. First, we will understand the basics and explore what is stablecoins. Following that, we will look into the types of stablecoins. After that, we will have a crisp comparison between stablecoins and other cryptocurrencies. Moving on, we will have a look at some of the best stablecoins according to market capitalization. After that, we will dive down deeper and understand why is it so important. And in the end, we will see what can we do with these stablecoins. So now let's get started with the basics. What is stablecoin? A stablecoin is a type of cryptocurrency that is backed by a reserve asset like the US dollar or gold that aims to provide price stability. It started gaining popularity since they try to combine the best of both worlds, the rapid processing and security or privacy of cryptocurrency payments as well as the volatility, free and stable prices of fiat currencies. So now that we know what stablecoin is, let's explore its types. The first one that we are going to understand is fiat collateralized stablecoin. It uses a fiat currency reserve such as the US dollar to issue a sufficient number of crypto dollar. To other types of collateral include precious metals such as gold and silver as well as commodities such as oil but the majority of today's fiat collateralized stable coins use dollar reserves. Now independent custodians manage such reserves which are audited on a regular basis to ensure that the essential compliance is met. Tether and true USD are popular cryptocurrencies that are backed by dollar deposits and have the same value as a single US dollar. Now moving on to the next one we have Crypto collateralized stable coins. Stable coins that are crypto collateralized are backed by other cryptocurrencies. Because the reserve cryptocurrency may be volatile, such stable coins are over collateralized, which means that a larger number of cryptocurrency tokens are keyed as a reserve for releasing a smaller number of stable coins. Now, coming to the last one that we have is non collateralized or algorithmic stable coins now these don't have any reserves but they do have a working mechanism to keep the price stable similar to that of a central bank the dollar pegged base coin for example employs a consensus method to increase or reduce token production based on demand now such practices can be compared to a central bank producing banknotes to sustain fiat currency valuations it is possible to achieve this by developing a smart contract on a decentralized platform that can execute independently. So now that we have a fair knowledge of stablecoin, let's have a quick comparison between stablecoin and other cryptocurrencies to understand their functioning even better. So the first one is, it is possible to accurately predict fluctuations in the value of stablecoin. On the other hand, it is difficult to anticipate the trend in the value of other cryptocurrencies. The second one is stable coins are centralized as they are maintained by independent custodians. On the other hand, cryptocurrencies are decentralized. 
The third one we have is stable coins values remains constant at one dollar. Cryptocurrency on the other hand has a price range depending on its performance in market capitalization. And the fourth one is stable coin price remains constant making them non-volatile. Cryptocurrencies on the other hand have a lot of insecurity making them extremely unpredictable and highly volatile. Now let's have a look at some of the best stable coins according to the market capitalization. First we have is Tether with the market capitalization of $79.5 billion. Then we have USD coin with market capitalization of $53.5 billion. Following that we have Binance USD with market capitalization of $18.3 billion. Then we have Terra USD with a market capitalization of $13 billion. Then we have DAI with market capitalization of $9.7 billion. Following that, we have TrueUSD with market capitalization of $1.5 billion. Then we have Pax Dollar with market capitalization of $947.4 billion. Following that, we have Neutrino USD with a market capitalization of $493.9 billion. Now, let's understand why stable coins are so important to people. Stable coins are devoid of the volatile nature of non-pegged cryptocurrencies while retaining some of their most valuable properties. Like, stable coins are open, global and available to everyone on the internet 24-7. They transport data quickly, cheaply and very securely. And they are programmable and digitally native to the internet. Now that we have covered almost everything about stable coins and its concepts, now let's see what all can we do with these stable coins. First is, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether have a lot of volatility, sometimes even by the mining. Buyers and sellers can have confidence that the value of their tokens will neither grow nor fall unpredictably in the near future if the asset is linked to a more stable currency or say stable coins. The second one is stable coins can be held without a bank account and are simple to transfer. The value of stable coins may be easily moved around the world even to countries where the US dollar is difficult to come by or where the local currency is volatile. Coming to the third one is, there are several simple ways to earn income on a stable coin investment, which is often higher than what a bank would offer. So for the fourth one we have, with transfer fees of less than $1, people have sent as much as a million dollar worth of USDC. And the fifth, the last one is, stable coins like USDC is a wonderful alternative for transporting money around the world because of their quick processing and cheap transaction fees. So well, this was all about stable coins. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Our team will reach out to you soon. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.